I'm gonna stretch my septum today. It's time, it's been four months. So I usually stretch every three months or so. I'm not quite sure what the order is gonna be like. I have to take all of these out. So I'm gonna start doing that. Um, it's just, it's time. I think I wanna get a whole new setup, but that sounds like a lot of work to pick out that much jewelry. So I have nine, nine rings in right now. Um, they're a mix of 18 gauge and 16 gauge and I only have 16 gauge left so that means I have to take all of these out and restack them so that the 16 gauges are in the back and my little tool is for 18 gauge so when we get to the, the tighter part I'm going to need my little handy dandy tool. This is really gross. I already cleaned in here um, and no one tells everyone talks about how your septum piercing smells it shouldn't it shouldn't smell I can't find the fucking ow where is the hinge what the fuck okay there it is your septum shouldn't smell you should clean it every day either in the shower or like separately I clean mine both times and it doesn't smell but you know what does happen? I'm allergic to a lot of things, so when my nose runs, so this one's tight, um, it kind of gets gross, so you kind of have to clean it like all the time. I've had my septum pierced since I was 18, and I'm 32 years old. You know what's hilarious is um, my parents didn't know I got it when I was 18, and I would just flip it up into my nose. I didn't tell them until I was 25, which is, I would wear something that I could flip up into my nose when I was home, and I lived with them at that point too. So anytime I'd go out, I'd either have to change it or flip it down, but then I decided to tell them, and they're only kind of mad. They don't like any of my body modifications really, but that's okay. If you want to stretch your septum, Lots of people will use tapers and um, special stretching kits. I didn't do that. I didn't want one large piece. I like how stacked looks, so I've been stretching it through stacking this whole time. And I think I started stretching it uh, three years ago. And basically all you have to do you just put a second ring in your septum piercing. You can get cool tools like this one to sort of help pull you pull it through. Gotta clean up your piercing. <laughs> yes, I used to have paper leaving me alone. Feels really weird to be able to do this. Okay, now to put them back in. So these are the two. Basically, you just put this little thing in there, <laughs> and then, oh my god, it's hard to thread things through a mirror, and you just got, fuck. I get frustrated really easily, so just ignore me. Look at my eye twitching. That's what stress does. And lack of sleep. I've been putting on a, a wet lab at work and it's like a lot of work and it went fine. You may ask what a wet lab is. I can tell you but I, I think a lot of people wouldn't like it.
nose. All right, that looks janky. Don't look at my nose. We literally invited you to look at my nose, but don't look. I think I don't like this setup. I'll go tomorrow because I think I'm gonna skip out on work. I'm supposed to, I am a supervisor and I'm supposed to do admin time and I am supposed to go to at least one meeting and then we sort of decided as a group we're gonna like sit together and work at the same table rather than in different rooms to like be a more cohesive team but I I'm exhausted from having to go in an extra day to set up and then for Friday's wet lab I have to go to work uh it's at 7 a.m and I have to set it up so I need to go in for at least six but I oh my god my eye I think I'm gonna go in for like 5 30 or something because I need to set up the room. So a wet lab, in case you didn't know, is basically like a dissection lab. Um, so our technicians are learning new skills or like getting better at them. So we're gonna use some donated cadavers, their clients' pets that they gave to us. Um, so we the technicians can learn new skills. My job was to sort of organize it, so here we are. Um, we're doing it in our waiting room, so I have to set the rooms up, I have to get the animals ready, and all the supplies, and then I made molds, because you don't practice placing central lines on dead things, because it doesn't work well, because there's no blood. Um, so I made models to simulate bleeding, that I need to fix because we had a wet lab already and there's like a little issue with them leaking so and now I'm not using blood it's um, water and I use green food coloring that was super upsetting to everyone that they're like why do you have green syringes in your hand so I was walking around with them <laughs> and I was like uh, first of all mind your business but second of all I have a red food color. Leave me, leave me alone. God damn it. Maybe it's just this fucking rainbow ass bitch over here that's like not in line. A little more forward than I like but it'll settle I'm just gonna keep telling myself that so every time I look at it I don't hate it but yeah that's that's septum stretching for you that was like an unproductive 30 minutes of my life but here we are okay bye